the water pump pulley is sort of, you could see it over here, it's like buried right there. So to get to it, I got to remove this side motor mount assembly here, detach the thermostat housing over here, and that gives me at least a working path to the water pump. Now after I take the accessory belt off and can get to the water pump pulley, I won't be able to get the pulley out unless I tilt the engine upward. So that's why down here on the right motor mount, I'm going to remove this nut and then with this jack underneath, I'm going to crank the engine up so there will be enough clearance so that I can remove the water pump pulley away from the side chassis of the car. So that's the plan. I gotta remove this bracket over here. Now I gotta remove this 10 millimeter bolt and these bolts on the side. Over here. So the engine tilt there. So now I'll remove the water pump housing. <laughs> I'll use this hose plier to break the seal. It's almost off. There. Breaking the seal. There. stuck on that o-ring there yeah. 
Okay, so this is the tensioner, the belt tensioner. So just take the belt off. I'm going to take these two uh, pulleys off. The tensioner pulley and the idler pulley. I got to take them off anyway because I won't be able to take the water pump off without those out of the way. And then I'll take the water pump pulley off. And then there's another belt guy pulley behind the water pump pulley. So there's like four pulleys I got to take off. Now the tensioner pulley, the bolt reverse thread, so I go I go in a tightening direction to loosening. I'm gonna remove this strip, this stud. You have to use an E-socket. So this one is a E6. Attaching it to a quarter inch ratchet wrench. Okay. My chain strap wrench on. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I, have, if I have enough clearance to get this pulley off. Nope, not enough. <clears throat> All right, gonna jack up the engine a little bit more. There. The water pump has 8 10 millimeter and 8 12 millimeter bolts for a total of 16 bolts. So I have to remove 16 bolts to take the old water pump off. It's one. It's two. I replaced this o-ring that came from here with this replacement right here so this is the replacement gasket it won't stay in place because there's no alignment pin so I'll have to mount it on with a new pump so I just put these 10 millimeter guys in there just to get it going and there's one Let's get number two in here. All right, so we installed the 8, 10, and the 8, 12 millimeter bolts. This is a mounting bolt that goes in place for the water pump housing. Okay, so we're just gonna coat this with RTV because if this thing isn't sealed properly, it's going to cause a leak. Now this is the replacement stud that came with the new water pump and it doesn't have a, a e-socket connection. So I'm going to reuse the, the stud that I removed from the old water pump and put it in here. Now install the accessory belt by wrapping it around the tensioner pulley and bolting on the tensioner. Leave the belt off the alternator and idler pulley to have enough slack. After the tensioner pulley is installed, use your box wrench to move the tensioner and finish installing the belt. 
Okay, I'm torquing in the alignment stud for the water pump housing. I'm just putting a little bit of dielectric grease and there's another connection port right over here. Some dielectric grease here. I'm gonna put some right in here. And we have this 10 millimeter nut that goes on that stud. So I reposition the hose clamp right back in the grooves of the, the existing hose. And we're done.